Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you today to ask for your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding, and so that we may walk in your ways and your will for what you would have for us, so that we're not leaning on our own understanding, but on yours, Father. We say all of these things in the name of Jesus, our Messiah, our Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and Amen. Esther 2 After these things, when the wrath of King Asarius was appeased, he remembered Vashti and what she had done and what was decreed against her. Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, let there be a fair young virgins sought for the king, and let the king appoint officers in all provinces of his kingdom, that they may gather together all the fair young virgins unto Shushan the palace, to the house of the women, unto the custody of Hedge, the king's chamberlain keeper of the women and let their things for purification be given them. And let the maiden which pleaseth the king be queen instead of Vashti. And the thing pleased the king, and he did so. Now in Shushan the palace, where was a certain Jew, whose name was Mordecai, the son of Jair, the son of Shimei, the son of Kish, a Benjamite, who had been carried away from Jerusalem with the captivity which had been carried away with Jeconah, king of Judah, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away. And he brought up Hadasha, that is, Esther, his uncle's daughter, for she had neither father nor mother, and the maid was fair and beautiful, whom Mordecai, when her father and mother were dead, took for his own daughter. So it came to pass, when the king's commandment and his decree was heard, and when many maidens were gathered together unto Shushan, the palace of the custody of Haggai, that Esther was brought also unto the king's house, to the custody of Haggai, keeper of the women. And the maiden pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him, and he speedily gave her her things for purification, which such things as belonged to her. And seven maidens, which were meet to give to be given her of the king's house, and he preferred her and her maids unto the best place of the house of the women. Esther had not shown her people nor her kindred, for Mordecai had charged her that she should not show it. And Mordecai walked every day before the court of the women's house to know how Esther did, and what should become of her. Now when every maid's turn was come to go to King Astarius, after that she had been twelve months, according to the manner of the women, for so were the days of their purification accomplished, to wit six months with oil of myrrh, and six months with sweet odors, and with other things of the purifying of the women. Then thus came every maiden unto the king, whatsoever she desired was given her to go with her out of the house of the women unto the king's house. 
In the evening she went, and on the morrow she returned, into the second house of the women, to the custody of Shazagars. Wait, Sha Sh Shazgaz. I don't know how to say that, guys. Sorry. The king's chamberlain, which kept the concubines. She came in unto the king no more, except the king delighted in her, and that she were called by name. Now, when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had been taken her for his daughter, was come to go into, in unto the king, she required nothing but what Haggai, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. So Esther was taken unto king Asarius into his house royal in the tenth month, which is the tenth Tebeth in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved Esther above all women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Then the king made a great feast unto all his princes and to his servants, even Esther, Esther's feast. And he made a release to the provinces and had gifts according to the state of the king. And when the virgins were gathered together the second time, then Mordecai sat in the king's gate. Esther had not yet shown her kindred nor her people, as Mordecai had charged her. For Esther did the commandment of Mordecai, like as, she, like as when she was brought up with him. In those days, while Mordecai sat in the king's gate, two of the king's chamberlains, Bigthan and Teresh, of those which kept the door, were wroth and sought to lay hand on the king Asarius, and the king, excuse me, and the thing was known to Mordecai, who told it unto Esther the queen, and Esther certified that king therefore in Mordecai's name, and when inquisition was made of the matter. It was found out, therefore, they were both hanged on a tree, and it is written in the book of Chronicles before the king. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for writing it upon the tablets of our hearts and making it very clear to us what you're saying, Lord. You know who we are and what we need to hear. And Lord, we thank you for your grace and your mercy each and every day as we go about our day and think about what this word is trying to convey to us. Heavenly Father, we are grateful that your word is still strong and powerful after all these thousands and thousands of years. And we thank you, Lord, for still speaking to our hearts in helping us do what you would have us do, to be ready for when you come back. Lord, we are grateful for all your help. Lord, I lift up my brothers and sisters.
that are listening to this as well as myself and all of our families that they may find strength in the word of the Lord to help them stand in the last evil days that we are currently walking in. Lord, thank you for everything that you have done, are doing, will do, will continue to do as, as we as we prepare for your return and your kingdom on this earth as it is in heaven. We thank you for all this. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, amen and amen. Amen. Well, amen. thanks for listening. And until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.